this past week we're trying to write this song for for uh, actually for American Idol. Okay. So the, wow. For the two for the two winners. Right. We we have a, a great uh, contact through Anders now with a guy that has been working with American Idol the past 10 years. So he's given us some leads and we're trying to write songs, album tracks or uh, singles for the top three artists. So that's what we've been doing this week. Excellent. In my, in my, uh, I've been writing with this guy and he's a great songwriter and we had, we have a good time together, but it was just hard for us this week to, you know, get the lyrics together, make it feel good, the whole production. And so it, we, we, we got really tired, like Thursday night. So sometimes, you know, it's like that. You just go home and sleep and come back the next day and, but we spend we spend probably way too too much time here. <laughs> That's where the good things come from, eh? Yeah, got to spend the time. Um, yeah. Well, the hard work will pay off for sure. Yeah. And, you know. So what's that like writing for other people? Because it's one thing to write for yourself, but writing for other people that you're not necessarily like. Have you met these artists as well, or you're just putting out the songs there? And uh, no, we don't. We ha we haven't met the ones that we have been written for in school. But I mean. I've written a couple of songs for other artists, like here in Sweden, that are friends of mine. Like, uh, actually, we have a mutual friend through the Weiser guys again, and um, he's he's been he, he. I think he ended up like fourth in uh, Swedish Idols, and he has a big TV career here and uh, doing a lot of TV shows or stuff like that. And we wrote a song together. It's actually a pop country song. Okay. It's really good. I should link you later so you Absolutely. can hear. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I like you, actually. So is this all in English, then? Yeah, this is in English. And what direction are you getting as far as writing for American Idol and going after that? Are, are you, through Anders, are you, I imagine there's a pretty good communication line going on with Anders and his connections in the States, right? And yep. they're giving him a briefing of what they're looking for, right? Yeah, they are. We we get to see videos with the artists, and um, and we get some short, actually kind of short description what they're after. So at some leads projects, it's really hard to know. You know, they say, okay, we want this, and we want it to sound like this, and then we send them that stuff, and no, it's too much of that and that. So we ha we haven't got the songs on the American Idol. We haven't he, they haven't listened to it yet. But like the past things we've done, it's really hard sometimes. You stay up and you work like say let's say you work seventeen hours in a row, yeah. and then you go and sleep, and then you get up again and do that again. Yeah, and then you send the song, and you really like you like it, and everybody likes it. Anders likes it, and whatever. And then you send it, and they they just answer you with one sentence. <laughs> right <laughs> after yeah. seventeen hours, like, like it's okay, but we don't get the lyrics. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> is this the sound you want, or like? Yeah. But that's music business, you know. Yes. It's hard. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad you're seeing this because um, by the time. The audience here is an end product. They're not even thinking what it took uh, to get to that. You know, yeah. it's just like, oh, that, that's a suck song, or yeah. you know, it's, yeah. yeah. And then when that song is accepted, and you have your your winners, right? Yeah. And then those mixers, those producers, they have what? Not even 24 hours to get that recorded and back out the door to American Idol, right? Yeah. Like, they're not sleeping at that level either. <laughs> Nobody's sleeping. <laughs> it's not easy. Thank you. 